My son, Elijah, was diagnosed with brain cancer when he was 11 months old, and we went through seven rounds of chemotherapy. And when I found out that he was terminal, um, the song, It Is Well, came to mind. And I would sing it over and over to Elijah, and we would dance in the hospital room, and I knew that he was going to a place that was better. So I fully accepted until he died. And then when he died, the grief hit me like a ton of bricks. And um, I didn't quite know how to process my faith following Elijah's death, because even though in Matthew 7 it says to ask, to seek, and to knock, I suppose I got a little bit mixed up because I thought that I was asking and because I was a faithful Christian and it seemed like it was in God's will that he would be healed. I guess I just didn't understand why he wasn't healed. I still don't. But what's different about me now is that I understand that I'm not God. He is. He's God. I have questions. We're going to have a conversation when I get to heaven and meet him face to face. But that being said, I'm in a place where I can understand that it's not from God that he got cancer in the first place. It's not from God that he wasn't healed. Now, he's healed in heaven, of course, but um, that th that wasn't from God. We live in a fallen world. And what's most important is that God has been by my side all along the way. At the time I was attending a church and uh, I reached out to the leadership and let them know that I really needed prayer. And unfortunately, I didn't hear back for about six weeks post-diagnosis. And that was pretty hurtful. So that was pre coming to ALC. And I knew from attending that church, it wasn't going to be my forever church. I was always looking for a new church. And I happened to run across a flyer for Family Fun Fest two years ago and decided that I would take my children and come to Family Fun Fest. And that's where I met Pastor Kim, who introduced me to Pastor Bruce, who uh, took me all around children's ministry and I got to see the amazing opportunities and fun things that they had for kids and I knew that this would be a great place for me um, to shepherd my children because my husband is not a believer. After Elijah died he decided that he pretty much wanted nothing to do with God. Pastor Bruce then introduced me to Pastor Danny and he saw me and understood my story in a way that other people don't. He understood the anger that I felt and the disbelief that I was on my knees and thought that God would of course answer a prayer to save my son's life and have it in his will. Mm -hmm. It wasn't and Pastor Danny met me where I was at and understood. So the very next Sunday I started attending and I haven't missed a week ever since. So it's um it's where we call home and you've been helping me shepherd my children ever since and I don't think that I could do it without ALC. Every Sunday that I showed up I was meeting new people and I was greeted with hugs. I was greeted with support and discipleship when I needed it. Every Sunday while I was pregnant with my daughter Eliana I would come forward and I asked Dale and Danny for a prayer. In fact, they knew that I was pregnant before my family knew that I was pregnant. And there was a complication with my pregnancy that could have been detrimental to Eliana's life. And every week I came forward and we faithfully prayed together that uh, in Jesus' name, she would be born without complication. And that's exactly what happened. I decided to bring Eliana to church uh, four days after she was born. And uh, I wanted to to present her and introduce her to Dale and Danny because they had faithfully prayed for her every week while I was pregnant. And um, I remember just Dale saying, praise the Lord, praise God. Um, here she is and she's healthy. And it was so meaningful just to have Dale and Danny who prayed for me while I was pregnant now to be holding my baby girl who was healthy, born complication free, everything was perfect about her and say, here's the miracle that we've prayed for. I can confidently say that I love the Lord with all my heart, 
all my soul and all my mind, and I'm on my knees praising him even in hard times to today. He's by my side through all of it.